thoughts combined across the miles to find a own at this strange time as a child My name's uh, Ian Gilbert. I set up a company called Independent Thinking over two decades ago. Uh, and I'm the guy who brought together all the various contributors in the book, The Working Class, which is new with the, from the Independent Thinking Press. Um, coming out very soon, I'm in Liverpool. I've been working with a group of head teachers from St. Helens today. Um, it's a good place to talk about the working class book because these are head teachers doing their very best uh, with children and their families from some of the poorest parts of the country and um, battling not only the, the ongoing battle of trying to get the best for the children and the families but battling a, a policy and a, a world really that is actually going in the completely opposite direction of what uh, they feel they need and what I'm able to point out they need and what the book highlights we should all be doing and it's, it's the complete opposite of what so much of what we've been told to do so the two big themes come through from the book the working class which is a, a collaborative book it's written there's about 46 uh, different contributors we've got teachers we've got head teachers we've got uh, university academics uh, we've got uh, spoken word um, uh, poets uh, we cover so many different aspects of, of uh, the life of children in, you know, in, in school, in poverty, whether it's, um, we talk about art, we talk about diet, we talk about um, uh, inclusivity, we talk about the brain, we talk about how this idea that there's a level playing field is just, is rubbish. We know from a neurological, sociological, psychological point of view that there isn't a level playing field. You're born in poverty, it's going to have an impact on you. So that's, so that's an example of the rubbish that's being spouted. We talk, without being overtly too political, we do talk about the what is known as the neoliberal uh, model that's out there at the moment which is all about the market it's about data it's about competition it's about the the death of community of society uh, it's all about the individual and we're trying to say that there's a there's another way so it's a combination of there is another way and also things are more comp things are more complex than that um, anytime anybody says to you this is how it is we can point out through the research in the book through the uh, contributions from all around the world we can say no this it's it's actually more complex than that and there is another way and we can be more we can be clever about getting the best out of children who are uh, struggling with a life um, growing up in poverty um, and so liverpool is a good place where behind me is the um, albert dock excuse the wind uh, there's the mersey um, next to albert dock is a john lewis um, what we see is this middle classification if we're not careful that we school is the process by which we produce children who are like us and that's got to be the worst possible thing that school could be in so many ways because it demonizes the children their communities their families the whole idea of social mobility um, we can we can question that one which is sort of taken as a given it's what we need to be doing but that implies that children have to to achieve have to move away and what do they leave what happens to what they leave um, so there are lots of questions that we ask and lots of uh, areas that we cover within the book the working class to open up the debate about how to get the best out of working class children in an education situation um, we even asked the question whether working class is a suitable name anyway uh, maybe it isn't um, but children in poverty children growing up with these sorts of challenges in their families in their communities what can we do to to, to help so we ask lots of questions, we share lots of examples. It's a book of hope, it's a book of ideas. It's a book, of, it's a book to challenge the accepted norm. It's a book to change the narratives that are going on at the moment. Uh, hopefully it will inspire those who read it and um, help them start to fight back from the way things are uh, in order to do genuinely what's best for the children in their care. Nothing goes as we expect We spend our lives planning for the best We're ordinary, down to the ground But you will know when we have found The life that we desire When the man crosses the sun
matter how it seems You are the one that's always in my dreams No matter how far your mind may The book is um, eclectic, I suppose. I put out a call via Twitter on our blog to say anybody who felt they would like to write uh, contribute to the book who believed this idea that we needed to change the narrative and look at things in a different way for kids from impoverished backgrounds in schools just to get in touch and and many people did so we use associates from independent thinking and then we have lots of people who have who I've never met who I don't know who just they want they, they had something to say and they were pleased that there was a place where they could where they could say it so we touch on areas uh, we look at the neuroscience we look at diet we look at art we look at uh, the importance of school trips, we look at race and ethnicity, uh, we look at it from a male-female point of view, we look at it from a, a coastal to an inner city point of view, we look at nature, look at the arts, uh, so many different aspects of what we need to be looking at in order to fully understand how best to engage children from impoverished backgrounds and their families in the education system. So that's what it's about, that's what we're, that's what we're trying to do and it's a very powerful a book that has come together uh, that we feel can, can genuinely make a difference. Just wait, you'll see when the moon crosses the sun and all the lights go dark. Is the sun